Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Lindsey Graham scolds President Trump for tweeting in support of peaceful Iranian protesters. President Trump tweeted his support for the Iranian people who are protesting their cruel and oppressive government. Even though Obama never did anything to help, the media still criticized Trump for his comments, like they always do. Senator Lindsey Graham also scolded Trump on CBS's Face the Nation. Many reports of peaceful protests by Iranian citizens fed up with regime's corruption and its squandering of the nation's wealth to fund terrorism abroad. Iranian government should respect their people's rights, including right to express themselves. The world is watching. Hashtag Iran protests, tweeted President Trump. The Iranian people are not our enemy, said Graham, the Ayatollah is the enemy of the world. Here is what I would do if I were President Trump. I would explain what a better deal would look like. It's not enough to watch. President Trump is tweeting very sympathetically to the Iranian people. But you just can't tweet here. You have to lay out a plan. However Trump isn't the only one who tweeted, the State Department also issued a statement. U.S. strongly condemns arrest of peaceful protesters in hashtag Iran, urges all nations to publicly support Iranian people. As, the president, said, longest suffering victims of Iran's leaders are Iran's own people, tweeted State Department spokesperson Heather Nauert. We are following reports of multiple peaceful protests by Iranian citizens in cities across the country. Iran's leaders have turned a wealthy country with a rich history and culture into an economically depleted rogue state whose chief exports are violence, bloodshed, and chaos. As President Trump has said, the longest suffering victims of Iran's leaders are Iran's own people. The United States strongly condemns the arrest of peaceful protesters. We urge all nations to publicly support the Iranian people and their demands for basic rights and an end to corruption," said Nauert. Roseanne Barr boldly sticks it to her lip friends with reasons she voted for Trump. Actress Roseanne Barr infuriated liberals with a series of tweets explaining why she voted for Trump. For those who wonder back in the day when I was called a liberal by journalists, I used to answer I'm not a liberal, I'm a radical and I still am I voted Trump to shake up the status quo and the state establishment," tweeted Barr. But she wasn't done. He is draining the swamp of thieves who steal public money and put it into private pockets, which is treasonous. And Trump is fighting pedophiles and he likes Jews that infuriates some people. However. Many users insulted her and demeaned her for these views. But she fought back with even more tweets, stating that she will not back down. Have you been threatened by fans of HRC? Tell us about it hashtag me too, she tweeted. The harassment continued. She made three more tweets in response. I won't be censored or silenced chided or corrected and continued to work. I retire right now. I've had enough. Bye. Do not expect to hear anything more from me. It's a waste of time to oppose fascists here. Bye. And the only way to win is not to play the game and I will not play." Fellow conservative actor James Woods tweeted his support for Roseanne Barr. I can't wait to see Roseanne's new show. People forget that her original show was a groundbreaker for working women who had families. Behind the comedy was some game-changing political progressiveness. She's a friend I greatly admire. He tweeted. Bill Nye the Science Guy reveals how he will punish red states for denying climate change. President Trump faced 16 Republicans, and overcame the odds, he passed one of the greatest tax cuts in history. But now he has to contend with Bill Nye the Science Guy, who is very angry with him. Only 40% of people in the U.S. think that Congress should be addressing this and that's because certain conservative groups, especially from the fossil fuel industry, have been very successful in introducing the idea that scientific uncertainty, 
plus or minus 2%, is the same as plus or minus 100%, said Nye in an interview with MSNBC. There's a lot of emphasis from conservatives on what a writ large states' rights. Just watch out, conservatives, if states' rights include California, Illinois, New York, these places that, where people voted in a progressive fashion, watch out if all those places start to address climate change and then impose economic sanctions, either overtly or by default, on places that have not embraced the work that needs to be done. Then you end up with this state's rights working the other way, threatened Nye. We've got to remind people that we're all in this together. The people I think about all the time are what are eloquently stated as the hillbillies. We want to engage everybody, said Nye about the people he just called hillbillies. Not working to address climate change is in no one's best interest. It is not in the best interest, especially of your children and grandchildren. A couple of times you mentioned that I am against the president and so on. I'm not especially against the president. I just think he's gotten himself surrounded by people who are willing to mortgage the future, said Nye. Sheriff Clark sends brutal message to libs trying to smear him I will bitch slap these scumbags. The FBI is now targeting Trump supporter, Sheriff David Clark. However, he fought back hard against what he calls a liberal smear campaign against him. The incident they are investigating is between Clark and Dan Black on a flight from Dallas to Milwaukee on January 15, 2017. Black sued Clark for abusing his power during the incident on the airplane. The FBI got a warrant to look at Clark's personal email account. Sheriff Clark took to Twitter to rip the liberal media for smearing him over this. I am unintimidated by lib media attempts to smear and discredit me with their fake news reports designed to silence me. I will continue to poke them in the eye with a sharp stick and bitch slap these scumbags till they get it. I have been attacked by better people than them hashtag MAGA tweeted Clark. He wasn't done. Breaking news. When lying lib media makes up fake news to smear me, the antidote is go right at them. Punch them in the nose and make them taste their own blood. Nothing gets a bully like lying lib media's attention better than to give them a taste of their own blood hashtag never back down he wrote. Several users reported Clark for his tweets but Twitter responded that he didn't violate any Twitter guidelines. Lying lib media can't beat me with a coherent counter argument so they resort to what liberals do when they have no logical narrative. They try to silence me by creating fake news from lies to smear me like they did yesterday. I don't back down. I punch back. Bring it scumbags, he tweeted. CNN isn't done with why a truck story, see new conspiracy theory about trees at Trump's golf course. CNN has been obsessing over a white truck that blocked their view while they attempted to secretly videotape Trump golfing. They reported on this 23 times and did a painstaking investigation to find out the man behind the driving the white truck. All this left Americans scratching their heads, wondering if CNN really has nothing better to report on. At first CNN blamed the Secret Service for purposefully attempting to block their view of Trump. The Secret Service is in the business of protection and investigations not in commissioning vehicles to block the media's view of the president's golf swing. The Secret Service responded. CNN finally figured out that the truck belonged to the sheriff's office. But still, they aren't done. Now there have been trees planted where CNN records Trump's golf game. And now we get another conspiracy video. Today, CNN news cameras did not get any video of President Trump playing golf, and here's why. Where CNN cameras were once positioned, trees appeared. Yes. New trees are being planted there, whined CNN host Anna Cabrera. If you want to play golf, just golf. What's with the secrecy? Asked CNN host Cabrera. CNN has really lost their minds. They are definitely maintaining their reputation as the fake news network.
President Trump exposes the real reason he tweets so much, it's not what we expected. Ever since Donald Trump ran for president, the liberal media has been obsessing over his tweets. Just made the mistake of reading all of at real Donald Trump's tweets from the last few days. I'm now curled up in the fetal position with an Cinderella tiara on my head. Also, my feet are cold. So very cold, tweeted famous Hollywood actress Alyssa Milano. Trump has certainly made Twitter and social media bigger part of his persona than any other president. So why tweet so much? The president just tweeted his answer. I use social media not because I like to, but because it is the only way to fight a very dishonest and unfair press, now often referred to as fake news media. Phony and non-existent sources are being used more often than ever. Many stories and reports are pure fiction. Tweeted President Trump. We have seen the media try, time and time again, to twist President Trump's words. When Trump says he wants to build a wall to protect citizens, the media reports that he hates Mexicans and is a white supremacist. When Trump says that he condemns racism after Charlottesville, the media reports that he thinks that white supremacists are great people. What do you think of how Trump gets his messages to the American people? Do you love his tweets or do you think he needs to cut back?